another Max for Life device from AbletonDrummer.com. Um, this device lets you remap or repitch or you could say retune MIDI notes, incoming MIDI notes from your hardware controller. So this is quite interesting um, if you, for example, if you have a push to and if you want to use um, certain pads, certain buttons to um, send different MIDI notes, but if you don't want to use a complex script, just a quick and easy max for life device for that, this could be the one for you. Okay, so how does it work? So for example, when I'm putting in, um, when I'm just opening this device, you can see we have an in um, function, an in uh, button for uh, in field for MIDI notes coming in and you have an out field for those as well. So this is like the first row and you have 24 notes which you can change. So um, you can manually put in values here. So if you want to change a certain note to something else, you can just put it in here. But you can use um, this matrix here as well. So for example, I'm now just playing on my computer keyboard, the C sharp uh, C minus two. And you can see in the drum rack right here that it's uh, C sharp two, uh, C minus two. Sorry. Okay. So now when you want to repitch this, you can just um, select, for example, the um, number one field, and then this will activate the first one. So um, if I'm now playing, let's say um, I retune my computer keyboard to the octave C3 to D4. So I'm now playing a C3 and I got um, the first field activated. So now um, you can see that the first one changed to C3. So every time I'm playing in the C3 now, um, this C3 will be repitched to C minus two. So I'm playing a C3 now and you can see that you have a control light button here as well, which will um, light up so you can see that this um, is actually um, being triggered even without watching in a drum rack or having a MIDI monitor uh, behind this device. So you can easily just put in like uh, different values in here and have them really easy and quickly just um, select it to where your MIDI note should be pitched. You can of course save this as a preset in your user library so you just can recall stuff really, really quick and easy. So there's one more function I want to show you. You have a MIDI in monitor, you have a MIDI out monitor. So um, you will see here always like what kind of uh, MIDI notes are being sent in and sent out. And of course, um, you can gate all notes which are not affected by this device. So for example, if you want only want to have like, let's say the first four notes being uh, changed, you can set all those down to C minus two, for example, so you will lose this one note. But um, now you can um, switch on uh, when I'm finished here in a second. So I'm just going into this field and scroll down, scroll down with the mouse. So I only have the C minus two coming in here and I'm just using the first C3, D3, E3 and F3 as inputs. So, um, ah, okay, so this one is still activated. So when I'm now playing my C3 in here and my D3 and my E3 and my F3, it's being repitched to those different notes here. And um, when I'm now playing some different notes, um, they are getting through. You can see I'm just playing a G3 here now and it's uh, monitored here as well. So I can actually gate the non-selected notes, so bam. I'm now playing a G3, you can see I get a mini in MIDI input here, but it's being blocked. So only those fields here which are being defined are sending out stuff. So obviously the C minus two is now sending all out all those multiple notes. I just um, made this so that I have um, those fields free, but I only get the C3, D3, E3 and F3 being played, sending out those notes at the bottom. The drum rack still will light up, but you can see 
it's actually those notes being played here you just get a play button here okay so this device is just quick and easy to uh, repitch stuff so I quite like the function here that you just select um, a field and then you can um, hit your don't know your drum pad your push or any any MIDI hardware control and now it's detecting the note you played in here and putting it in here in the infield and then you can define to which note it should go okay have fun with the device there is a link in the video description to get the device as always if you want to donate me a few bucks it's more than welcomed